Today we shall be exploring the ancient marvels of Petra, the lost city of Tone. Welcome back to the channel, fellow adventurers. Today, we embark on a remarkable journey to one of the most captivating archaeological sites in the world. Join us as we uncover the secrets of Petra, the legendary lost city of stone. From the halls of memory, of Atom's diary, and together, let's delve into the past and marvel at the wonders that lie within this ancient city. Located in modern-day Jordan, Petra dates back to the 4th century BC and was once a bustling trading hub of the Nabataean civilization. This Unico world heritage eater has captivated explorers and travelers for centuries, and it continues to leave visitors in awe with its architectural marvels. Our adventure begins at the iconic treasury, also known as al Khazna. This magnificent rock-cut temple is a true testament to the architectural prowess of the Nabataeans. Carved entirely out of the red sandstone cliff face, it stands as a grand welcome to the city of Petra. To reach the treasury, we venture through the Seek, a narrow gorge that winds its way through towering cliffs. As you walk along the path, take in the stunning rock formations that surround you, feeling the anticipation build up as you approach the treasury. Tanding at over 40 meters high, the treasury is adorned with intricate carvings and details that showcase the wealth and splendor of the Nabataean civilization. Legend has it that hidden treasures were once stored within its walls, but alas, the treasury is but a facade, with no real treasure to be found. Beyond the treasury lies an entire city waiting to be explored. Let's move deeper into the heart of Petra, where we'll encounter the theater. A spectacular amphitheater carved into the rock face. The theater could accommodate over 8,000 people and was used for various performances and gatherings. Close your eyes for a moment, and let the echoes of ancient cheers and applause resonate within your imagination. As we wander further into Petra, we come across the royal tombs, a collection of grand mausoleums perched high on the cliffs. These tombs, such as the Urn Tomb and the Palace Tomb, served as final resting places for Nabataean nobility, showcasing the power and wealth of their occupants. Our journey wouldn't be complete without a visit to the monastery, a monumental structure that sits atop a steep hill. Similar in design to the treasury, the monastery is larger in scale and offers breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding land s. Cape. It's a testament to the Nabataeans' ability to carve such monumental structures in the rugged terrain. While Petra's iconic structures are undoubtedly awe-inspiring, the city also held a practical importance as a major trading hub. The Nabataeans were skilled in managing water resources, constructing elaborate water channels and cisterns to support the city's population. These ingenious water systems enable the Nabataeans to thrive in this arid region, and they still function to this day, providing a glimpse into the remarkable engineering skills of the ancient civilization. As we wander through the city streets, we come across the treat of facades, lined with impressive rock-cut tombs and dwellings. These facades showcase the intricate craftsmanship and artistry of the Nabataeans, giving us a glimpse into their daily lives. Today, Petra continues to be a site of ongoing archaeological exploration and preservation efforts. The ancient city remains a testament to the ingenuity, artistry, and resilience of the Nabataean civilization. Exploring Petra is an experience like no other. Walking in the footsteps of ancient traders and discovering the secrets of this lost city will tray and sport you to a bygone era, leaving you with memories that will last a lifetime. From Amman, the easiest way to reach Petra is by taking a taxi or a private car, which takes about three hours. Alternatively, you can take a bus from the Tebaba bus station in Amman to Petra, which takes about four to five hours. You can take a jet bus from Amman to Petra, which is a more affordable option. Once you arrive at Petra, you can explore the site on foot, by horseback, or by camel. There are various trails to follow, 
including the main path that leads to the iconic treasury building. It's important to note that Petra is a large site, so it's recommended to allow yourself at least one full day to explore. It's also helpful to hire a tour guide who can provide valuable insights and information about the history and significance of the site. Additionally, make sure to bring plenty of water, sunscreen, and comfortable walking shoes, as some of the trails can be steep and rocky. And so, fellow admirers of this grand planet, our journey through the extraordinary ancient city of Petra comes to an end. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour and were inspired to add this remarkable destination to your bucket list. Until next time, remember that the world is full of wonders just waiting to be explored.